right, school's over. Heading out to run some errands and hopefully I can do what I need to do. I'm a little hackered right now. Oh, I'm a hot mess. Um, so first things first, I have to go to a consignment shop to see if I can sell some of these antiques that I have. And so wish me luck on that. And then we have to run to Michael's so I can fulfill some orders on my Etsy shop. So let's go. So that did not go as planned and I did not find a match for these antiques. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. But that's okay. Figure it out eventually. Maybe Facebook Marketplace will do me well. It has done me well in the past with these things. But now we are off to Michael's so I can go get some materials for my Etsy orders. Okay, so we are just walking out of Michael's so I can get supplies for my <laughs> for my shop. And I walked by this car and there's <laughs> this person has put a skeleton in their back seat. Um with a seatbelt and all, so that's pretty hilarious. I love it. I, I think they were coming. <laughs> I don't want to look like a weirdo recording the skeleton in someone's car, but like. Um, oh yeah, you did it. I bought the girls silly putty because I don't think they've ever really had it before. I could take my mask off. Um, it's because that's good for like their fine motor skills and practicing. And it's a little bit better than Play-Doh because Play-Doh can break apart and make a mess in the car. Whereas silly putty, it probably could still make a mess in the car, but it's like less likely, I feel like. Anyways, I had to pull, pull up my recording because the skeleton in the back seat made me really laugh. So I figured maybe it'll make you guys laugh. All right, now we are on our way home. Oh my gosh, that's super big. There you go, stretch it. Um, Johnny's like really not happy with me because he wants to get out of the car. So we're gonna go ahead, head home, get some stuff done. I wanna get my orders done and then we'll probably have some dinner. All right, so we are back home. It is 3.43. Normally I'd still be driving home from my previous position. And so I'm already home, we are settled, we are getting ready, I'm cooking dinner, I've got desserts baking, like it's amazing, this is awesome. I love doing my own thing and building up from what I'm doing, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I want to show you my Michaels haul that I did because I kinda got a little bit more than just what I needed for Etsy. That's what happens when you take kids to the store with you. Like you always end up buying like way more than you what you wanted. Um, I know it's like December 9th, but we needed another advent calendar and I have been hunting these down forever since before the 1st of December and I could not find one. So I'm really happy that I found an advent calendar. So now the girls can each have their own to open and enjoy. I had to turn on the light there because it's a little dark. All right, cool. My next thing, Angelina picked this out and I'm actually super excited to try it. It is Ombre Unicorn. So like, look at those colors. And on the package, they actually have a unicorn. So Angelina wants to make a unicorn shirt with stars on it. I don't know if we can make this exact unicorn, but she wants to make a unicorn shirt to wear. So we're gonna go ahead and use this unicorn ombre um, heat transfer. So I'm pretty excited about that because that looks freaking awesome. Um, and maybe I can make a new shirt for my collection on Etsy um, and see if anyone's interested. Um, I, the next thing I got was regular white heat transfer because that's what I need for a couple of my projects tonight. I got the girls silly putty, which I did film in the car. So now there's just two empty packages of that. Angelina also found this. And so I got one for each girl. Um, they wanted a um, press on that says I'm actually a mermaid. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the girls each their own mermaid shirts because they love mermaids. We were like really mermaid heavy during the summer, um, but they still love them no matter what season. So we're gonna go ahead and make some mermaid shirts. So far, the only thing I've actually needed was the white heat transfer. So yeah, Hannah picked out a mini coloring book for later. I never really say no to coloring books because they're like a dollar and I enjoy coloring with them. It kind of like zones you out. You know those adult coloring books? I know people are like, that's crazy. Like, why would you do that? I'm actually one of those people. Like, I feel like it calms your anxiety because you're just kind of like zoning out to nothingness. I don't know, I like it. And this one is a shout out to my friend Dawn at the Clark School because she's my crafty friend and she told me about this and I'm so terrified to try it, but she told me I could do it. So I'm gonna do it, Dawn. It's all up to you on here. 
I might ask you some questions, but this is my first time buying the Cricut Infusible Ink. This might look backwards to you guys, but um, it's I got the black because I feel like I could come up with something like writing or something for one of my shirts and use it on that and it won't be too bad. So infusible ink is when you actually, you know, wear those shirts with like logos on them, but it's, you can't feel it. It just goes like, you can like put your hand right over it and there's no feeling. Um, right now my shirts are, I use heat transfer vinyl. So you can kind of feel like a little bit like something's there, like a raised um, material. Whereas this is supposed to just like infuse right inside the actual threads of the shirt. So I'm super nervous, but also super excited to try this. Dawn said that the finish is like fantastic and it has a really bright finish. Um, so I'm super excited and super nervous. I don't know if I'll try this tonight because I do have some orders that are more important that I have to get done but I might try this. Um, same with all the girls' shirts and everything, so that's why I'm like super glad I'm home early because maybe I'll actually get to a lot of these projects that I wanna do. Johnny's over here enjoying the fish tank and probably knocking down my plant and probably also hiding to go poop in the corner. Didn't you wanna know that? Um, I got a lot of shirts because I needed some of these for the orders. Angelina got a frozen play pack um, with like coloring, stickers, and crayons, which will probably last like five minutes, but that's okay. I also got some holiday sprinkles because why not? Um, I may have also picked up some ice cream on the way home. I'm an ice creamaholic if you know me. Like I could eat ice cream anytime. I don't care if it, I'm outside in a snowbank. I would still want to eat ice cream because that's just who I am. Um, hold on, Hannah. Okay, yeah. So the rest of my haul is just like a bunch of shirts for my Etsy store because I needed to restock some inventory, which is a good thing because that means I've actually been doing a lot of orders and I just reached, oh my gosh, I just forgot. I can announce, I just reached 100 sales on my Etsy shop. I'm so excited. Thank you to everyone who has supported me and who has ordered shirts. Let's see, what are you doing? Yeah. Playing with all my decorations down there? Yeah, yeah. Anyways, I'm super excited. I'm so grateful. I have now, I I don't know if people have watched them before, but I have made my first thousand dollars on sales a couple of months ago. And now I'm like at a couple of thousand dollars earning money online. Like, ah, that's so crazy to me. I love it so much. I'm learning so much and it's just so exciting. And I'm so grateful for all of you who have supported me and bought shirts and ordered shirts um, through my Etsy store. I didn't really mean to sit here and plug myself, but I'm just so excited that I got 100 sales. And so thank you all for that support. I'm gonna go ahead and check on the dinner and all the food that I just turned on baking while I'm doing this. And um, yeah, I really don't wanna be vlogging about a fire later tonight. So I'll check in with you in a little bit. Guys, this is what's so great about being a part of a group of supportive women. My friend Jessica sent me a holiday card with a magnet that says dream big, love it. It just shows you that you gotta keep on going. People are out there watching you and believing in you. And I'm just so supportive of Jessica and being in my life. So Jessica, thanks girl so much. I really appreciate it. I can't wait to put this in my office. Appreciate it. Hey guys, just thought I'd check in. Right now I am watching an Etsy video, how to make myself better at Etsy. I am weeding out a um, project for one of my orders. This is my pile of stuff that I'm gonna have to throw away. Um, I've got my Cricut over there up and running. I've got another project over here ready to weed. And so I'm in my office getting some work done. The kids are in the playroom out there. Yeah, I'm sure you can hear them. And so, yes, this is what I'm doing right now. I'm checking in. Um, hopefully we're going to do a nice little activity together just in a little bit after I finish some orders and then we will get together and probably have some snack and a movie. to try a new background tonight which is my fireplace um, it's a wood-burning stove and it pretty much heats our entire house all winter so so our oil company hates us because they rarely have to fill our tank which for us is amazing because it's uh, 
a lot of money. So today's been kind of hectic. As you can tell, my get up, I'm sitting on the floor, I'm sitting by a fireplace. I don't know, man. It's been, let's see, day nine of Vlogmas and it's a lot of work it really is um i love it though i love seeing the results of everyone watching i love sharing about all of these women who are so gracious enough to let me promote them on uh, my vlogmas right now my vlogmas series so it's been so great um with that being said tonight i'm going to tell you about my friend emily walker she is an office manager and a mama and she lives in north carolina beautiful mountains with her family and she loves to write and i don't want to forget that Emily also told me that she is a unicorn enthusiast. And so Emily, what she does is something so different than everybody else so far. So I'm really excited to promote her and get her name out there because as a um, inspired writer myself, someone who has always wanted to write a book and I've started a million of them and never finished, Emily actually does write books and what she is offering is actually ghost writing. So if you've ever been interested in writing a book or a story, um, things of that nature, Emily actually offers services to ghost write for you. So if you don't know what ghost writing is, some people, uh, authors out there, they will hire someone to actually write the book for them and then they can put their name on it and take credit. Now, obviously you're paying Emily for the service or any other ghost writer out there, you pay them for their service, but they actually write the story and then you just pay them for it and then you can go ahead and sell it just as if I was going to buy a bunch of items wholesale and then I take them into my store and I sell them kind of the same thing but this is writing style she has a passion about writing about romance and sci-fi and paranormal so I'm actually gonna put a picture right here of all the books that Emily has written so far that were on her website and um, she's done some ghostwriting so pretty exciting Guys, I had to shut the fireplace because I'm on fire right now. <laughs> like, I wish I could tell you how hot my back is. I'm not sitting, well, maybe I'm sitting too close. My husband will tell me I'm sitting too close. Um, but I had to shut it because <laughs> my back is so hot right now. Um, but it was nice at the time to think about sitting in front of it. Anyways, thank you so much, Emily, for letting me promote you in my video tonight. I'm so super excited for you, and I can't wait to see all the success that you have in the future. And I look forward to staying in touch. If you want to reach out to Emily for her services, don't forget to check the description box for all of her links, and you will be able to connect to her right through there. Thank you so much, guys, for watching Vlogmas number nine. I hope you enjoyed it so much. I enjoyed it for sure. I look forward to tomorrow. And don't forget to like this video. And if you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. It really supports my channel and it alerts you anytime I post a new video. Thank you guys and I'll see you tomorrow.